Hey guys, welcome back to etc. Today we have another geography tutorial video. Uh, today it is Angola, the country that we are featuring here. And uh, the build that we are doing is the mausoleum of Agostino Nito. I probably butchered that name terribly, I'm sorry. Uh, but a little backstory uh, behind the mausoleum. It was obviously made for Agostino Nito, kind of who it's named after. And he was the first ever president of Angola. Uh, he uh, pushed for the he pushed for independence against the Portuguese and uh, was a strong leader in the Angolan Civil War. And that's kind of why there is a massive monument in the center of Luanda, which is the capital city, uh, built for him. And it is very sci-fi slash futuristic. Uh, it looks like something almost out of Star Wars, which if you haven't seen our other channel's content, uh, lots of Star Wars tutorials that you should definitely go check out. Um, he was built in remembrance of him, obviously, but was featured after one of his books, which I can't remember the name of, uh, but it was heavily funded by North Korea and the Soviet Union. Uh, it does look really cool. So, uh, I do not support, we do not support on this channel, North Korea or the Soviet Union, but, uh, the architecture is just really cool, so. And it's a very notable landmark of Angola. So that is why we are featuring this mausoleum instead of anything else in Angola. Because we're not doing natural sites and as cool it would as cool as it would be to do say a volcano we are focusing on artificial man made things. So we should just get into the tutorial, shall we? Um so, we will not be building the, or I will not be building the visitor center here. I will just be going from the roof uh, up. But if you would like to build the visitor center yourself, is just a andesite plus sign uh, with some stone and plush andesite mixed in, some planters. You guys could probably do better than me when it came to this. Uh, but we should just get into the tutorial, shall we? So, back it up a little bit, but I should probably show you this. So, the massive plus sign is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 blocks up front with the white concrete, and then 5 blocks on the side. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just like so. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then so on and so forth. So, if we do it right here. Uh, I kind of want to align it. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then one, uh, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four. Just mirror that, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mirror. Because it's literally the exact same thing. Just mirror it. I'm not counting it. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Wait. I, I think I messed this up. One, two, three, four. Ha, I caught myself. Three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, and then just finish it up right here. So here's the massive plus sign, which is the roof of the visitor center. Wow, that's looking pretty ding dang good. That is set for Antigua and Barbuda, uh, the next country on our list, because we are going alphabetically. If you haven't noticed or seen any of our previous videos. Right here we are just filling in uh, the massive plus sign with white concrete. I would use world edit, but honestly, 
might as well just do it by hand. Boom, boom, boom. And then fill this in. Fill this in. You know what? Just speed up. Alrighty, so now that all of this is filled in, uh, we can start off with the actual base of the mausoleum slash monument. I'm calling it a monument because it honestly looks more like a monument because it kind of is, I guess. Uh, but so here is smooth quartz, which is just normie quartz, and then uh, some light gray concrete. So, it goes a little something some like this, it is three blocks back from the front, so one, two, three, so right here, and then it is five blocks, and then right here it is, wait a minute, uh, and then the corner here, right here, in the corner, one, two, three, diagonal, and then same thing here, one, two, three. And then, uh, wait. And then it's just the same as the other side, just mirror it. Wait. <laughs> yeah. So just the same as the other side, not right there, but right here. Three, four, five. Did I mess it up? I probably did. One, two, three, four, five. One. Oh, this is four. Oh, gotcha. Wait, <laughs> did I mess up? It is three. What am I talking about? It, it's just three, not five. So right here, and punch these out, punch these out. Uh, one block in front because it's three here. No, I can't even build my own builds. This is how great I am. I have bad memory, honestly. Uh, but, so yeah, just mirror it. It's the diagonal here, one, two, three, with the smooth quartz, one, two, three. A everything's just three blocks. And then here, the gaps, it is light gray concrete, and the middle here, light gray concrete. And then just the same on the other sides. So, then you go up two blocks, or one block, I should say. So just boom, boom, with the light gray concrete is. Didn't see that and then a diagonally one block and then here it is uh touching tips as i like to say where they only touch right there and it's diagonal in both vertical and horizontal but these go up three blocks uh these on the sides are just diagonal vertically so up three one, two, three. Same thing on this side. Two, three. And then, excuse me, two, three. So, just like so. And then the. Wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, and then with the smooth quartz, uh, I forgot to. It's not three, it's four. So, just like so. Boom, boom, boom those in and you want to go up one block same thing here one block one block one block oh and this one here as well and then as you can see here you go diagonally inwards as I like to kind of call it like it fits in the gap almost and then here as well oh these do not touch tips. That is afterwards. Excuse me, Mr. Mouse. Apparently, you just want to do things on your own. But these are just diagonal vertically as well. So all of this is diagonal vertically, not just touching tips. Touching tips come later. Still kind of sounds very weird, but it's just what comes to mind. I don't know why.
Uh, but here with the smooth quartz, uh, fill in the gaps. <laughs> and then once more, up and up. There we go. So a little something like this back here as well. Uh, so you just fill in the gaps. And then here in the front and back, you just go up two blocks. Yep, two blocks. And then just repeat the same thing on all the other sides. So boom, boom. And then same thing here. And the same thing here. And boom, boom, boom. And this one is just flat two blocks. And then the exact same thing. It's it's a lot of repeating the same thing because it literally is just the same thing in a different position. Okay, so now that we got this, now comes the touching tips part because that is my self patchetin term. But so on the side ones, it's still the exact same thing. You just go up uh, three blocks again. These do the touching tips as I just showcased. So they go like this, and then three blocks up. So just like so. And then boom, boom, boom. Three blocks up. These ones are just still diagon diagonally, diagonal vertically. So one, two, three. And then these do the touching tips. And then, boom, boom, boom. and this one is just diagonally, diagonal vertically, as you can see here. And then now, leaving with a one block gap, are these little protrusions with the smooth quartz. So, they go like this. So, one block gap, and they go two blocks, and then one block there. So, two blocks out, one block. Here it is just two blocks in the center, blocks out, one block, diagonal, so basically just what's down beneath it, but with one uh, gap space, here it's just, you fill it in, and then boom, boom. And here there is a little, what looks like uh, an Angolan flag slash insignia not really sure what it is I've never been to this place in real life I've never been to Angola in real life uh, but it, it has the same colors as the Angolan flag right back there um, so just red concrete and then black concrete underneath because that's what I'm assuming it is if it's not tell me in the comments uh, I'll change it if if you guys want me to change it that badly. But, now that we got all this in, uh, fill the insides with light, or not light gray, uh, cyan terracotta. So just like this. Make sure it is one block back and it covers up the gaps of the gaps where you can basically see inside, I guess. So, just like this, basically, it's not floating. Uh, there's actual stone there. In real life, it's just a different kind of stone, I guess. Uh, but now, uh, for the spires that go up, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And blocks of the light gray concrete just continuously going up so because it's already three here uh wait but you go diagonal again you yeah you go diagonal again and then and blocks up so boom, 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 boom 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 and now all of them are substantially closer together but one two three four five six Six, seven, eight, nine. What the heck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10. Apparently, Minecraft just wants me to fall. And then the rest of them, I'm just not gonna count because you can just eyeball them. And I don't need to be counting for you. So boom, boom. Apparently, my mouse is having a seizure as well. If you just see random swings of my arm, it's because I I'm not even touching my mouse. It's just that I need to get a new mouse. And when my mouse just uh, decides to freak out and acts like it needs to be used, <laughs> it just swings randomly sometimes. Uh, but next, you want to fill them in with the cyan terracotta as well. So, kind of like this, with one block back. So basically just make cyan terracotta square in the center. And then go up. Just like this. And, wait, that doesn't need to be filled in. That's not visible from the outside. And then just like so. So as they all go up and down here also needs to be filled also needs to be filled in with the cyan terracotta. Basically if you see an empty space that you can see into the inside of the spire, I'm just gonna call it a spire from now on. Uh, then cover it up with one block back cyan terracotta, but just like so. And then now we get into the big boy spire part. Uh, here in front is uh, one, two, three in front, and then one block off to the side, and it goes up one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three. See, look. It just broke the block, and I did not even touch my mouse. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could you stop, Mr. Mouse? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Technically fifteen. So, like this. I can't count either. <laughs> so, comes out one block in the edge, and then one. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That one does not count. One, two. Uh, these three, they go up one block further than the side that protrudes, I guess, as I'm going to be calling it. That's how I visualize it. Visualize it in my mind because it's not flush with uh, this part so it protrudes and it's also one block out from the fire part that comes up. So it's one block out forward and then one block out sideways. So just filling this in with the light gray concrete. Uh, kind of, kind of thick now, but it's not going to be visible. Here on the side, it is one, two, three, four, technically five, but that part is cut off. So like this, one, two, three, four, five, punch that block out, uh, and then goes up one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then goes up in a staircase pattern. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm sorry, honestly, for all the recounts. But now it goes up in a staircase. Look, I literally didn't touch anything and it decided to uh, break the block. So 
I definitely need a new mouse. Uh, but the staircase pattern keeps on going for the entire length of this side, I guess. There we go. And then here on the back, uh, you want to go up, actually, uh, instead of the standard uh, 10 blocks. You go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 more, so 17. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 5. Five, six, se seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so there we go. Comes up seven blocks more, and then it does kind of a backward staircase where it's a diagonal to the other side there, uh, but it goes up one block or yeah, up one block and then flattens out at two. So a little something like wait, it starts here so two blocks wait no just a line so it goes right here and then diagonal and then diagonal straightened and this one comes up one block as well and then bring these excuse me Nothing wants to work with me today. But it just keeps on going up until it is uh, flush with the first step, as I'm going to continuously call it on this side. So, right there. And then bring this up. And then this is one block down. And then on this side, a uh, little bit odd, uh, this comes out right about, yeah, so this side comes out right here. Uh, it's like a diagonal, I guess, and just bring it all the way up. Well, it is a diagonal. <laughs> what am I talking about? And then at the top here so if I keep on oh wait so yeah at the top flatten this out until it's diagonal here and then bring it down two blocks leave a gap and then one two three four five so just like this uh, out one block as well so down two leave a gap and then down five, one, two, see, broke it again. Two, three, four, five. And then this goes down in the staircase a turn, as I'm going to continuously call it. And then just keep these going across. What the heck happened here? Oh, so it's just another diagonal. Bring this down, 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 down. Just like so, I think. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> See, I have awful memory. I just, I like just look at it, and then I can't even remember how I did it. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Whoa, this is trippy. So I don't understand how I built this myself. One, two, three, and then diagonal. Uh, so, one, two, three. This comes down, because this is a little uh, design. I'm not sure what it actually is on the actual uh, building or spire, but uh, this comes down. So, yeah, the fifth block comes down as a diagonal one block below here uh this fills in whoa this fills in yeah 
I really need a better mouse because it decides to uh, hit when I don't even touch anything. But here, make a little plus sign and then indent it with the Scion Terracotta. Boom, boom, boom. And a little design there because I'm honestly unsure what is there in real life. It looks like a star almost, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Here I am just filling in the gaps with the cyan terracotta. Boom, boom, boom. And then right here as well. And then fill in this gap. Boom. And then this gap as well. Wait, <laughs> there's no gap there. All right. From the top, just get a nice little look around. Make sure I didn't mess anything up that badly. And then here, uh, we do the top, and then uh, make it flush with the most, the lowest point. So right here, fill it in, and then uh, these can be staggering heights. The little fires here. Uh, make sure they are staggering heights, but they don't have to be a specific height. So, something that goes a little bit like this. Yeah, see, it's, it's freaking out on me. If any of you guys have suggestions for uh, good mice that don't randomly click on you, uh, please let me know, because... I'm very interested in getting a new mouse. Alright, so, boom, boom, just bring them up staggering heights, and uh, put the andesite stairs on top of them here as well, and make sure none of them are facing the same way they're supposed to be random. Uh, to me, honestly, this whole build, I don't know what's going on anymore. This whole build looks, this whole spire looks almost like, um, that building in Rogue One where the Death Star plans were. I haven't watched Rogue One in a long time, but reminds me of that, whatever it is. Uh, but, yeah. So, keep on bringing these ones up. Uh, I did four, because that's... I could fit really and then right here oh well I'm just gonna do three for this one you could probably squeeze one in right about here but I'm not going to uh, so yeah that is the mausoleum of Augusto Augustino Nito uh, this is the spire part I'm not going to make the actual technical mausoleum slash um, and visitor center part. Uh, if you guys want to see a tutorial on that, I guess let us know, but I highly doubt it. Uh, so yeah, that is the mausoleum. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please consider subscribing. And, uh, and Puigua. And Tigua? <laughs> Antigua is coming up next.